welcome to QBalance.com's video on importing transactions into QuickBooks using a software tool available on our site for $199.95. You can place an order by typing into your browser the link you see here or calling our 800 number and we will gladly email you the link to purchase. On this page, you will see a list of transaction types that can be imported into QuickBooks using this software tool. Payroll transaction types cannot be imported into QuickBooks. This software will automatically create new customers, vendors, classes, items, and accounts when they do not already exist in QuickBooks. Once installed, you will find a folder under My Documents that includes spreadsheet examples of each transaction type which you can use as a template to import your transactions with. In our example, we will be importing two invoices. We do in this spreadsheet have a title row. We've given it column names. They do not match the QuickBooks fields, but we will later demonstrate how we can map our columns and data to the data and field settings in QuickBooks. This Excel sheet has two invoices, number 1100 with three items sold, and number 1101 with two items sold. We need to save this Excel spreadsheet as a tab limited file. Next, we'll import Quick, we will open QuickBooks and we will open the transaction software tool. QuickBooks will require us to give permission for the tool to import the transactions. We can choose to provide this permission each time we import, or we can tell QuickBooks to always allow. Selecting always allow will be more efficient. Once we allow the software tool to continue, it opens up into a wizard, and we will browse to find our invoice tab delimited file that we just saved. We'll select the transaction type of invoice and there are also some advanced options which we will not cover in this video. You can scroll down the page on our, on our page and, and read more about the options available. This next screen displays the file we selected to import. It provides us with assurance that we've chosen the right import file. Header, header rows are not required but preferred. Here you can tell the lizard if you have a header row. This next window is our mapping window. We only need to set up the mapping once. Our spreadsheet used column title of company name and we'll map that to the name of to the field setting of customer. Our column with a title of date is now matched to transaction date. Our column title with the name of number is now matched to reference number in QuickBooks. There is also uh, the ability to put a static value, it has a static value column on this page, to set values for fields not included in the spreadsheet. For example, we can put a Y next to to be printed, which will set the invoices imported to be marked for printing after import. To keep it simple, our example did not include billing or shipping addresses, but if your customers were new, you would include that information in your spreadsheet and map it here. Once we finish our mapping, we will save this template so next time we import invoices, we do not need to create another mapping. The final screen will ask us if we do create a new item, what item type should be created and what account should be created for that item. Now we're finished and ready to import. We click on finish. There are five line items, two transactions in this spreadsheet we're importing, and the lower left region of the window tells us the status of the import. When it's done, it says done, and we can then return to QuickBooks to review the import. I've created a memorized transaction detail report filtered for invoice transactions imported with today's date. Let's zoom in on the first invoice number 1100. You'll notice that QuickBooks has assigned the items as taxable and has assessed the sales tax with the correct sales tax item which we included in the spreadsheet. You will also notice that there's no bill to or ship to information. 
Our spreadsheet did include two new customer names, and we did not include a bill to or ship to address, therefore these fields were left blank. If these were existing customers in QuickBooks, the existing addresses would have been included in this invoice. Okay, that's it. We're done. We've just watched a video of importing invoices, but all transaction types except payroll transactions can be imported with this tool. It's available at qbalance.com for $199.95. If you have questions, please give us a call at 800-216-0763, and we'd be glad to help. Thank you.